It's late February, and I'm in Yosemite, which can only mean one thing. It's time for Firefall. Unfortunately, Firefall has been canceled this year. Welcome to Grant Takes Pictures. I'm Grant, and I take pictures. So instead of taking pictures of Firefall like I was planning this long weekend, I'm going to go around and show all the other great photo locations of uh, winter in Yosemite, starting right here at Tunnel View. Here at Tunnel View, there are four different things that are really great to take a picture of. First is the valley as a whole, uh, landscape format, wide. Second is El Capitan, right here, which looks good both landscape and portrait, and uh, a little bit tighter, so 70 millimeters or so. Way here in the background is uh, Half Dome, which shoot that as tight as you can. I'm shooting at 200 millimeters. I wish I could shoot it at 400. Right over here is Bridalville Falls. And that looks good both as the falls and with these three peaks. That one looks good both mostly as a portrait oriented picture. Um, pretty tight. Um, you can go anywhere from, you know, if you're trying to get the, the mountains in the background, uh, you know, anywhere from about 50 millimeters all the way up to 200 real tight on the waterfalls. So uh, those are the four images you can get uh, that are really great classic images here from uh, Tunnel View. So hopefully I got those during sunset tonight and we will uh, take a look and see how they looked. You will know probably before I do if they are any good. So one great place to take photos in the morning uh, here in Yosemite is right here in Cook's Meadow, right in the middle of the valley of, uh, of Yosemite Falls. Upper Yosemite Falls here in the background lights up and uh, in the early part of the year in January and the first part of February, you can get a nice rainbow when the sun first hits the falls. So uh, I got a little bit of that today um, there's a great view right along the path, just down from where this little bridge starts, where you can get lower Yosemite Falls coming through the trees and upper Yosemite Falls up above. So uh, that's the shot I've been getting this morning. And uh, hopefully, uh, if you come out here, you can get it too.
No photography trip to Yosemite is complete without a stop in Ansel Adams Gallery. There are many great photos, not just from Ansel Adams, but from contemporary photographers as well, people like Michael Fry and others. So I, uh, I'm going to stop in, see what we can get, maybe pick up a couple books and uh, just look at some of the beautiful photography and try to get some inspiration. So let's go in to the Ansel Adams Gallery. All right, so I stopped in the uh, Ansel Adams Gallery and I picked up two books while I was in there. First is the Photographer's Guide to Yosemite, which is an absolutely invaluable resource uh, for any photographer looking to get some classic shots of Yosemite. And second was uh, Ansel Adams' autobiography, which uh, the host of the podcast F-Stop Collaborate and Listen has uh, been talking about quite a bit recently. So I thought I'd pick it up and uh, give it a read. So uh, that's what I picked up in the Ansel Adams Gallery. Unfortunately, they don't allow for photography or video from inside the gallery. So if you want to see what it looks like inside, you got to come up on your own. Another classic photography spot for sunset is here at Sentinel Bridge to take pictures of Half Dome here behind me. It's a, we're still a good two hours away from anything approaching sunset. And there's already a fair number of people here lined up, ready to take photos. So um, like I said, it's a popular spot, get here early, but you can get half dome reflected in the river which is a very pretty uh, photo so um, I'm going to stay here for the next few hours so we'll uh, we'll see what we get After a long day of photography and hiking around, sometimes you just need a good meal and a nice drink. The best place to do that is the bar here at the Iwani Hotel. So join me as we grab a drink. If you ever find yourself at the Iwani, go into the elevator. It's pretty awesome. One of the great places to 
take photos at dawn here in Yosemite is right here in El Capitan Meadow. It's right in the western edge of the valley, but from here you can get great views of El Capitan as the sun comes up and illuminates the dawn wall. If you do come here to take pictures of El Capitan, I highly recommend coming early. It is a place where once the sun starts hitting the wall, you won't be able to get a good photo. You need that pre-dawn golden hour light to get a good photo of El Capitan. But it is a great place to just watch, uh, watch the sun sweep over this giant cliff towering above us. My favorite places in Yosemite Valley is the Visitor's Lounge in Curry Village. It's a great place to relax, recharge yourself and your batteries because they have uh, ample power outlets there. So uh, in the evening, after you're done taking your sunset photos, I highly recommend coming over here to Curry Village and checking out the, uh, the Visitor's Lounge. All right, so I'm here at the final stop for sunset, and uh, this is called Valley View. It is way at the west end of the valley. If you came on Highway 41, you have to head west from Tunnel View. From here, you get a good view of El Capitan and Cathedral Rocks, and the classic part of this shot is the river right behind me. You get low down near the river, and there's these rocks with tufts of grass sticking out from them and uh, in the winter time when it's snowy it's a great uh, place where you get these little balls of snow in the river and i'm sure you've seen the photos unfortunately we won't be getting those photos today because there's no snow but we will be getting a sunset shot from here at valley view I hope you've enjoyed the video here at Yosemite. And next time you're up here, hopefully you found some new places to get some of those classic shots here in the valley. Stick around for the video next week for some more unique shots, uh, not just the classic ones you see on every postcard, to you know, see where else you might be able to shoot and appreciate the grandeur of this valley. But I'm gonna leave you with this one final sunset and if you like this video, hit that like button. If you want to see more, hit subscribe. And uh, we'll see you here again next week.